Hello, and welcome to the C Sharp encryption tutorial that I've made. Now, I'm going to start by resizing the screen, and the first thing I'm going to add is two rich text boxes, one for the encrypt and the other for the decrypt. And then after that, we are going to need two buttons an encrypt button and a decrypt button. Now I'm just going to change the text of the button so that it says encrypt and then the text of the other button so that it says decrypt. And now I'm just going to add two labels so that the form looks a little better so you can know what you're doing. The top one is going to be plain text and that's going to be where you type in something to either encrypt or decrypt it and the bottom one is going to be encrypted text. Okay, now I'm going to double click the encrypt button and that'll take me directly to the on click event and this is where we're going to start writing some code. Now, I'm going to use something called a for each loop and this for each loop is going to basically loop through every single character in the first rich text box object and what that does is it'll allow us to basically look at the ASCII value for the character and then increment it by one so I'm going to start out by typing char c encrypted equals c plus one and uh... Oh, I gotta fix that real quick cast it as a char. And what that's going to do is it's going to look at basically this loop loops through every single character in the text rich text box one and then what we're going to do is we are going to add one to it so that it encrypts and then we're going to assign it to the rich text box object the rich text box two. And also here at the top I write this rich text box two dot text equals blank string so to clear it out. So what we have here is we have the rich text box blanks out, loop through every character, add one to it, and then add it to the rich text box too. Now, here's what happens. Let's try this out. When we go to text box, I type this in, press encrypt, and you can see at the bottom it looks like encrypted text. Excellent, exactly what we wanted. Now, the next challenge is going to be to decrypt the text, and luckily for us that's really quite straightforward. So I'm going to go back to the form and I'm going to press decrypt. And once I double click that, that'll take us to the button on click event for the decrypt button. Uh, but first before I do that, I'm going to set this to be disabled. In, so now when you go to test it, once the rich text box 2 is disabled, you'll see that the only thing you can do is copy it. You can't write in it, which is exactly what we want because we don't want them changing any values there because we're not going to be dealing with it. So once I double click the decrypt button, it takes me to the on click event and I just copy the code from the previous section and I paste it. And the only difference is I'm going to change the plus to a minus. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to subtract one from the value. So when I go to test it, you can see here I'm typing something in and then I'm going to press the encrypt button and there's my encrypted text. Now I put that up in the top and I press the decrypt button and it is decrypted. And that's really all there is to encryption in C-sharp. 